Hello, in this video I will talk about sustain pedal and a problem which I have, which is that when I press the sustain pedal in some pieces, for example to sustain bass notes, then I noticed that they would cut, be cut off and um, this is because the mapping is not like on the real grand if it's by default. Okay, so by default the mapping is an identity function, so f of x equals x, um, but instead of being too mathematical here, let's look at this chart, which is from, from Yamaha, as you can see here. And what this says is response of uh, response damper pedal. So let's only look at the grand piano line. And I, I just be believe now that this is a uh, kind of true, true line or good approximation to the real pedal. Um, so what we can see here, so let's look at the axis. Okay, so uh, x-axis is the range of pedal movement. So to the left, the pedal is not applied. And to the right, you apply the pedal more and more and then until you um, have the full, the full pedaling. What the y-axis is now doing is, as it's written here, the pressure on the pedal. So on a real grand, if you press the pedal, if the range of the pedal movement is only a little bit, you already have, as you can see here, a lot of pressure um, on the pedal. This is because the springs inside are built in a certain way. Now, the identity function is, you can imagine a line going from the left bottom uh, to the right top corner. This is just a straight line. This is what is mapped by default in this program. And this is not good because um, this straight line goes here where my mouse now goes. Do you see that? This goes a lot below the real line, which means that if I press, for example, the, the piano in this range here, I think I cannot show this here. So in this range, which is like the little pressing of the piano, the pressure on the pedal, the simulated pressure is almost not existent, but on a real grand it would be a lot more. Okay, so then I would not have this problem with the sustained bass notes. So what I now did is I try to simulate this curve here in some way. And for that, let's look at the um, operator or let's look at the, the mapping function for this control, which is also uh, something interesting for you if you don't, didn't know that before. I don't know if this, how this works in other DAWs, uh, digital audio workstations, but in FL Studio you go on this uh, arrow here and then you click on Browse Parameters and then you get this long list of parameters here and then you go down a lot, like a lot, and then you get the MIDI control which is called CC number 64 which is written here the damper pedal sustain and what we want to do now is right click on this and then click on link to controller okay and now this uh, window opens here <laughs> and as you can see i have a kind of approximation to the curve uh, which we saw before but by default this is only the input so input means the curve is just um, a line from left bottom to the top. So let's see if I can copy and paste numbers here in this thing. If I copy the three and put it in, yep, I can copy and paste. So I copy now this thing here um, and just write input. And then this is what originally you have. Okay, so this is the, like in this chart here, this is the default. So it goes only like a line, which is really not uh, how a grand pedal um, behaves. So what I now want to do is to create this curve. And I think for that, maybe there are a lot of options, but honestly, for me, for my thinking, <laughs> my mathematical thinking, the quickest way to get this curve is to interpolate this as a polynomial of a certain degree. And for that, I just Googled and found this so-called Lagrange interpolating polynomial um, I could talk about the mathematics, <laughs> which I learned uh, like seven years ago, but um, that's not the point of this video. So the polynomial is defined in this way here. This is the definition of the polynomial. 
Ah, oh, very nice. Here we have the display formula. And what is important for us is that we have here an x-axis and a y-axis. And what I now did is I put in values here. So for example, x-axis is zero, y-axis is zero, right? This is the zero, zero point. And then I looked at this point and this point looked to me like maybe 0 0.1 and the height is maybe 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. Uh, so I put in the next point is an infliction point 0 0.1 and 0. Um, maybe 3.35 or something. And then we want to also um, say to the computer that here, this is like 0 0.4 we still have the same value on the real grant. Yeah, so at 0 0.1, sorry, at 0. Point, what did I say? Uh, 4, we still have the same value. Yeah. And then when do we have the next change? Well, we have a linear thing here. So um, the next point is 0. Point, I don't know, 8 or something, 7. So 0. 0.7, and then we have the high 0 0.6 maybe or something like that and then the last point is then we have here a point and so on and so forth and anyways if you if you do that and maybe you can use a ruler or something to calculate the fraction of this uh, portion to the whole thing if i mean if that's one this is the, the relative uh, size of this is one and then how much is this one here is made either 0 0.1 or more or less to be more exact with this curve but if you do that um, and type in the values then you get it i got a polynomial of uh, degree five here which is input is like the variable like x okay x to the five and then you have uh, huge constants and so on and then you i mean that's a bad approximation as you can see the original looks quite different but i just tried this one out and it was a lot better because the base is now not cut off anymore and it feels more like i have a ha i mean of course you need a sustained pedal with half pedaling effect like a continuous midi control and not just an on off um, thing but um, in this way i get a much more realistic um, input oops wrong thing so as you can see i could i of course i could uh, i could make a equal distribution here like i could uh, make 10 points 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and then try to find out where approximately the values of the corresponding points lie and then i could just point in 10 points here and by the definition or the nature of the lagrange interpolating polynomial we get a, a polynomial then of degree 10 which i mean that's a computer it doesn't matter what you what you put in here but this is very um uh, how do you say if you change the parameters a little bit as you can see then you get big differences here yeah <laughs> as you can see i just changed it by one so um you have to be careful to really be a little bit precise here because otherwise um you get nonsense like this this means now you press the pedal like maximum and then you have no pedaling effect that's clearly nonsense so but this really helped me and anyways that's all i wanted to say have a nice day